Alright, so we're back. It's still raining, but this time I turned the rain down. So hopefully it's not quite as overwhelming. Um, we got our little house here set up. I've learned something though since last time I played, and that's that you can punch this cobblestone free. I wish I had known that in episode one. Our house would look quite a bit different. So I'm going to get some of this broken up here. We'll see if we can find anything underneath of it. Sometimes these old ruins have little little rooms underneath of them. You can end up digging into to get uh, little treasures. Uh, sometimes they have seeds or tools. So, you know, if you can get down there and find a room, sometimes they have rare items. Um, if anything, this one might have it here, but I doubt. No. So I was still thinking more like Minecraft. I assumed you couldn't just punch cobblestone free like this. But it's good to know, so if you didn't know, um, hopefully it helped you too. We'll get some of this out and replaced. And then hopefully, hopefully today we can get set up with a little bit better of a, a house. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. A little bit better of a house and maybe get some tools up. Maybe find some metal. We couldn't really have much of a worse house. This thing's hideous. So, now that you know that, now that I know that, when you start off, you can just try to find ruins and build your house out of those. Tear them down real quick and restructure them. Maybe find yourself some tools in there. I found copper tools in them before and I've seen others find that too. I was kind of thinking about saving this, these hay bales for the ceiling. Have a thatch, thatch roof. I don't know if I don't think any enemies will actually aggro on your buildings, so I don't think it matters if you have strong building materials or weak building materials. And there it is. There was something that was hiding right here. Seed vessel. So what do we get? We got spelt and onions. So now we can grow some food. Uh, we're not too terribly close to water, but we can we can fence in a little area once we get some metal up. Uh, if you don't fence in your farms, the rabbits will destroy them. As I found out in my single player. Those rabbits are relentless. But you can use that to your advantage. Uh, you can build little rabbit traps. Use that for getting your leather and getting some meat. So, it works out. So I'll go ahead and finish getting this done. And I'll bring you guys back when I have a decent house. Alright, so there was one bit of stair in there, so I've got part of a walkway out. Uh, there ended up being quite a bit of cobblestone here, so I was able to do all the walls. Um, that's an accent wall, that's what we're calling that, and that's why it's that way. We do have a full thatch ceiling out of hay bales, so it looks good. Uh, the next thing we're going to need to do though is food. So we're going to make a few spearheads. We'll knock a few of these out real quick. Alright, so we got four spears. Uh, we're going to go out and see if we can get some food. I'm going to mark the house real quick just so I know where I'm coming back to. So we'll go ahead and call this home. Oh, capitalization. Uh, what color? Go ahead with red. And then we'll get the little home icon and we'll pin that. 
And so now that little icon will stay on our map. And even if we travel to where it's not, we're not in the section of map that it's on, we'll still be able to see where it was or where it is. Oh, there's food. So the one thing I really like about this game is you can throw your spears. And I mean, you can lose them, but when you throw your spear, there it is. It doesn't throw the one that's in your hand, it throws one out of your inventory. Gotcha. Alright. There we go. So, we'll get some feathers from this guy and some poultry. Feathers are good later for when we're making arrows. Whoa. Yeah, we're not gonna go down there. It's a deep hole. Like, straight down. That's just regular basalt. But I don't think I talked about it in the first episode, but I did change some of the settings on this one. Um, I turned up some of the surface metal just to make it a little easier to play. I also turned on the other mode of the pro pick so that I can use that to help me find find ores. Um, I don't really want to jump down here. Yeah. Looks like it's turning night, so I probably picked a bad time to come out and do this. But we'll see if we can find anything else before I have to, to head back home. But it's nice to be able to mark your map like this game once you do. I think they really got that one right. Um, being able to put up markers and, and find your way around while you're out exploring or hunting so you don't get turned around. And having that little mini map is nice. Uh, I think that's F6 to turn that on. F5 or F6. I was hoping to find some bighorn sheep. Oh, there's copper right here. Alright, that's good. That's real good. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll mark this. There we go. And now I can grab all these and I'll know where to come back to. We need at least 40 of these to really get going with copper. Uh, 40 individual bits, that is, not 40 of these rocks specifically. So we'll break all these up and see how many bits we have. Uh, let's see here, we got 18. So we're almost halfway after that. Uh, fortunately though, that's right behind the house, so when we finally do have the pick, we can come right back out here and, and get the ore that's underground. Oh, we can fight this guy. Well, maybe we can't. Where'd he go? Man, he just disappeared into those bushes. Is that him? Ooh. Come back here. So anytime you can, you should chase them into water. You have the advantage here. You can move a lot quicker than they can. There we go. Once you get a farm up and running, you don't necessarily have to do this. Hunting's kind of dangerous, but it gets you leather and fat, both of which you do need, so you do kind of have to. Uh, is that my spear? Does my torch work underwater? Yeah, it does. Is my inventory full? Oh, uh, I don't need that. I'd rather have my spear. So I'm going to get back home, uh, wait out the night, probably cook up this food, and I'll... I'll bring you back in the morning. Ooh, more copper. All right, so we will mark this spot too. There we go. So there's only one rock here, which means that that's not going to be a very good ore vein. At least in my experience, that's how that works. But that other one that had several, so that vein under there should be pretty good. So now we'll, I'll get back to the house here, and I'll wait out the night, probably cook up this food, and bring you guys back in a minute. Alright, so 
so I got a little bit of that meat cooked up. I ate some of it, and some of it I made into stew here. So we'll be able to use this. It does a pretty good amount of food. Wow, that one filled me up. Alright, so we got another guy right here. We're going to get him. And maybe his female, too. Come on. There he is. That was a wild throw. Oh. If you kind of keep jumping like that, you can kind of avoid their hits. Kind of. It wasn't working too well for me. Uh, I need this. Man, he almost got me. So let's see, these guys are a good source of meat. You get some large hides. The fat's also pretty useful. Uh, let's see if we can collect our spears. There's one. Uh, one of them is probably way off over here somewhere. I threw that one pretty wildly, trying to run and throw. Your accuracy seems to, to disappear the longer you hold the spear to throw it. Uh, probably not going to hunt the female one until I get my health back. And hopefully find the spear, but I don't think I'm going to. Yeah, I don't know where that one went. I'm not too worried about it. I can make another. So, we got some more food. Uh, probably just hang out in here until I get healed up. If I run into a wolf or... I think at this point, even if a, just a fox bit me, I'd be done. I do need a little bit more storage, though. So we're just going to come over here and get these. Uh, I think it takes 24 of these, and I think I already have 6. So 18 should be enough to get me a one more storage container. Can I not pick these up? I guess we're just going to go like this. Alright, we'll get a few of these gathered up, and we'll be right back. Alright, we're back home. During the night I put some of these in. I just put in what I had, so it's kind of... Well, it's ugly. I'm not going to lie. We'll get one more basket set up here. That'll help with some of my storage problems. Once your character gets wounded, he seems to just kind of drift. I just now... Or I noticed that a little bit earlier, but yeah. He just keeps going down to the left like that. Put this right here. I had set these down just because I didn't have the space to, to carry all the different stuff that I was trying to carry. Um, both of these we can actually turn into oiled hide. So in 24 hours they will have cured out and we can use those to make some stuff. We can put down the rest of this. We're up to 21 nuggets so we could make our pick. Maybe on the next episode we'll finally get some metal tools. But we have some food. We have a better place to live. It's not great looking, but it's something. Uh, in three more days we'll have some berries. Quite a few of them. So we'll keep that. We'll call that good. I'm trying to keep my videos a little shorter. I'm bad about thinking that they're short and the next thing I know they're 35 minutes long and I don't want to cut any of it out. So this should be enough. Uh, I hope you guys liked it. If you did, you can like and subscribe or whatever. Comment if you want to see something or have any questions. And you guys have a good day.